Porto, Portugal. We spent three days here during our trip to Portugal, but in the end, it certainly did not feel like enough time. This is hands down the most beautiful city in Europe that I've been to. And I've visited cities like Paris, Venice, Madrid, and Barcelona, all of them incredible in their own way. Originally named Kale, the Romans built a port in the city, Portus Kale. And it eventually led to the name of the city Porto and the country of Portugal. I think most people who visit Portugal first go to Lisbon, which makes sense. It's an incredible city and one of the most visited cities in all of Europe. However, after visiting Porto, I have to say I like it even more. It made such a great first impression on myself and my travel buddies, Austin and Mate, who are also on this trip with me. This is the first trip we've done together and actually the first time Austin has ever left the United States. So big props to him. Definitely make sure to check out the videos and photos they've also got coming out from our trip. I'll link their channels in the description. Sunrise mission. and home kids. Holy fuck. Holy shit, bro. We have we have some time too. Oh with the freaking building in the background? The city is gonna look pretty cool too. The yeah. fog over it. Yeah. I want to go to the other side of the bridge and then look down at towards this way. Right. Yeah, it's a better view of the city. Yeah. Dude, honestly, what we could do tomorrow if we want is wake up at the same time and immediately call an Uber. Oh, that's a good. That will save us like what, whatever that walk. Yeah. Was, like, 10, 20 minutes. 10, 20. Even if we left when we were ready. So yeah. We were Wanna get a center one? Watch out.
Holy moly. That was pretty cool with the people coming down this little street here. I don't normally do stuff like this, but this is really fun. Wildlife Photography 101. Government spy. Bye. <laughs> 
so as it sets, it'll be at an angle, but it'll start to half split the street. And you'll get, this side will be in shadow, so you can actually stand right here, shoot the light without getting a sun glare in your photo. So it might be good. Or it'll, it'll just, it'll just suck too. That's also a possibility, I don't know. And then we lose the good light in some other better area. So that's why I don't wanna stay too long. Story of a faux mode photographer. Dude, once I see something I like, I just like a you know, like an egg. Earlier today we were like, do we even wanna shoot anymore? Now we're like, I wanna shoot more. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Photography is oftentimes consumed on social media apps, but there's something so much more powerful about having your own curated online portfolio in the form of a website. Yeah, that thing, the thing you've been holding off for so long. The good thing though is that Squarespace makes it really easy to get started without the need of any website design knowledge. Personally, I've been a long time user of Squarespace long before I even had a YouTube channel. And for me, it's become a one-stop shop for my favorite works, blogs, and digital store. You can get started yourself with a free trial by visiting squarespace.com slash and use the code Faisal to get 10% off your first purchase.